Felicity Bond. And I'm Bob Roberts. Welcome to the DNN Top 10 NN, where we look back at our favorite moments and memories from the first series of DNN. You know, Flicky, I remember everything that happened on DNN like it was yesterday. Really, Bob? What did happen yesterday? Um, no, it's gone. Well, thankfully, this show is here to jog your memory. Oh, no, I remember. I swallowed my shoe again. So let's kick things off with, well, kicking things off. Yes. The professional news anchor knows how to greet the audience in a manner that is friendly, but somber with intelligence and authority. Sadly, Bob is not a professional news anchor. <laughs> so take a look at some of our weirdest welcomes. Hello and welcome. I'm Bob Roberts. And I'm the remarkable Felicity Bond. And you're watching the Bob O'Clock News. Coming up on today's show, a wander around Wimbledon. Oh, give me a sec. Entertainment news from a field. The Olympic anniversary game. And I'll be custard pieing an American. No, you will not. Oh, spoil sport. No, I don't. I do the best I can in difficult circumstances. Bob, you cannot do the rest of the show in your PJs. Oh, you're quite right, Felicity. Give us a kiss. <laughs> I only signed up to work with one Muppet. Ha, that got rid of her. You're on my script. Whoop, whoop. All that and more only on... D-N-N. See if you can guess what this one is. Dare you? No! No, it doesn't mean that! It does mean that. Ah, uh, professional journalism at its best. What's up next then, Flicky? Well, Bob, it's the time unlucky reporter Phil Time told us about a supermarket giving away a lifetime supply of groceries. A lifetime supply of groceries? We could need a massive fridge. Anyway, Phil and Terry were a bit naughty and got into the supermarket's computer. Ah, and you said that man couldn't hack it. Well, he still got things a bit wrong when he tracked down the winner. I'm here with Donna Jones for an amazing moment. Donna, can you confirm for us that this is your Crandon's loyalty card number? Um, yeah. So, does this mean...? It really does, Donna. <laughs> Finally, an exclusive. I'm happy to tell you that you have won free groceries for life courtesy of Crandon Supermarkets. <laughs> Hit the music! <laughs> work again. So, I'd just like to say to my boss, Mr. Stuffchurch here, your job's rubbish and you got B.O. But you're fired? No, I quit. <laughs> She's over the moon. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, can we turn the music off? My phone's going. Hello? Oh, Terry, it's the owner of Cramden's. What? Oh. Cheese and crackers, man. Donna, I am so sorry. I had it upside down. What? You haven't won. But I just quit my job. Terry, start the van. This is Phil time. Chucking some change into Donna's leaving kitty. Live for DNN. Right, come here. I'm so sorry! Oh. Phil Time there, a man who couldn't break a story if it was made of cream crackers. Next, it's Newcastle's finest export, unbreakable weather girl Davina Wave. Yes, when it came to challenging Davina, we threw pretty much everything at her, including the kitchen sink. Ah, uh, I know. It bounced straight off her. Do you think there's anything she wouldn't do? Well, we couldn't get her to go to London. Ah, uh, London. <laughs> it's like Geordie Kryptonite. Anyway, here's a look back at what happened when we asked her to do the weather on a roller coaster. Time for the weather in the glorious Emerald Paradise that is Newcastle! Good 
Davina Wade there, tough as old pink boots. Now it's time to take a look at our star dribbler, and I don't call him that because he used to play football. <laughs> yes, it's Gary Ogden. What that man doesn't know about sport... ...is basically everything about sport. But he's had some fantastic moments this series. And my personal favourite was when he met cricketing legend and Strictly star Michael Vaughan. Oh, yes, another close, personal friend of Gary's, who'd never actually met him. <laughs> Do you remember uh, Lords 2005? I do remember Lords 2005, yes. Yeah, well, I was the guy who was stood behind you in the hot dog queue, uh, shouting, Vaughnie! Do you remember that? No. no. Look, well, you were, you were stood, you were stood there, you were holding a hot dog, so I hold your hot dog, smaller, smaller than that, and it, you, you had to so put it towards your face, that's it, and I was shouting, I was the guy who was going, Vaughnie! It's, it's Oggy, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's Gary Ogden! Do you remember that? I think you've got the wrong bloke. No, oh, great days. As we were at the Old Trafford Cricket Ground, venue for some of this year's The Ashes, Mikey and I went for a bit of a kickabout. Hang on a minute. It's the other way round. Ah. <laughs> OK. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're actually facing the right way. It's... Your hands need to be at the other end of the bat. Ah. in there and that's him going back onto the subs bench for now so next up it's a moment from the reporter more hard-hitting than a diamond-headed sledgehammer it's Nellie Osmond yes we've seen Nellie look into clowns talking animals and school exams we've also seen her get promoted and sacked in the space of two minutes well she's an efficient woman Bob <laughs> anyway here's Nellie taking a look at the I can boogie app and dancewear suit well we finally saw her get uh, get um... get down oh, okay so first up, I want to see you dance without the app. I can dance, I can talk, all <sighs> Quite enough of that. <sighs> OK, so that's without I can boogie. Now let's try it with... Oh, right. Well, yes, I can confirm that the suit and the app certainly appear to be working, but um, I don't think I'm going to be on stage with Beyonce anytime soon. Well, that's just the warm-up setting. Let's turn it all the way up to Sasha Fierce. What's happening? I'm taking over. Right, this is not appropriate for a journalist of my stature. Oh, OK, thank you. You can turn it off now. I think you've proved your point. Oh, oh, what? The app's crashed. Turn the phone off then. Uh-huh, yep. That's actually crashed too, sorry. Perfect. So, it seems that while apps can do almost anything, the one thing they can't do is stop people from making rubbish technology. This is Nelly Osmond grudgingly putting a ring on it for DNN. Nelly Osmond there, going one dance step further than anyone else for the sake of good journalism. And we go straight from the nation's most committed journalist to the nation's best substitute for counting sheep. It's Henry Smart. Why do you always have a go at Henry, Bob? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. OK, well, just to remind you, here's the moment when DNN's viewers first met Henry. And if you remember, Bob, I'd hypnotised you into dancing every time you heard the words... Gang... Uh, don't say it! Just play the tape! La 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 Henry, so lovely to see you as ever. Hello, Felicity. Oh, and hello, Bob. Ah, oh, yes, DNN No Nonsense Nightly News. That's DNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNNN
Yes, very funny, Felicity. And may I just apologise to any viewers who were bored to sleep by Henry during that last segment and fell off the sofa. You can't say I didn't warn you. Next on our list of magic moments is our T-boy, Jamain Man. Yeah, let's street the meat. That's the wrong catchphrase, Bob. Is it? Hang on. Uh, let's strain the milk. No. Well, while Bob works that out, let's take another look at when Jamain got you guys celebrating. Let's... Shave the mama set. No. Main man there. He is outstanding in the street. <laughs> That's nice of you, Felicity. No, I mean he is literally outstanding in the street. Look. Oh, so he is. We'll have a cup of tea when you're done. And a custard cream! Now, from the man on the street to the women on the webcam. Here's what happened when we asked for your thoughts on Jane Austen being put on the new 10-pound note. Ooh, crinkly. It's ridiculous. When I look at a banknote, I don't want to look at an author. I want someone with business sense. Like Alan Sugar. Now there's a face I could stare at all day. <laughs> Hello. We adapted a Jane Austen book for the school play last term. It was great. I was only playing the part of a hedge which had one line, Russell, Russell, and I didn't get to bow at the end because my costume was difficult to walk in, and I did need the loo through the whole of Act 2, but it was still a great experience. skippity wop <laughs> I love you, Jane Austen. Ten pound notes are the only money I'm going to use for the rest of my life. Bus drivers are going to hate me. <laughs> There we go. And say what you like about webcam. Oh, finally. Well, they're good for video chat, but they're terrible at baking cupcakes. What's your point? Your mind never ceases to astonish me, Bob. Eight pounds at a car boot sale. Bargain. Just two to go now. And who can forget when our 1D-obsessed showbiz reporter, Stacey Mayonnaise, tried to conquer the charts with her Harry Styles single. Which made sure that when it comes to Harry Styles, she'll always be single. Yes, fingers it is, folks. You're in for a bumpy ride. You've got hair like an otter, you've got eyes like an owl You're the bestest decision ever made by Simon Cow. Harry Styles, oh you are one miles and miles You smile just like an angel smile I love you, Harry Styles Stacey mayonnaise there. You know, I think of her every time I make a sandwich. Well, that's just about it from DNN's Top 10 and then. But our last little package of clips is all about the true star of the show, the DNN News Desk. Yes, Flicky, that's where so much magic happens in the DNN studio. Because I sit there. It's also where some of the most idiotic things happen because... No idea what you're talking about. Really? Well, fortunately, the pictures speak for themselves. Roll the tape. Bob? No, don't cut a moon. There's an egg in my cup. I think Bob is the best news anchor in the world. <laughs> hey, I did it! I broke the breaking news! I'm Bob Roberts. I don't know anything about the news. Not in front of the camera. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Fly, Keith! Just mind the light! <laughs> oh, Keith. I am a carrier patient person with a beautiful soul! What? You to hug me. Come on, come on. How did she even get in here? Oh, well, probably the same way we do, I suppose, through the door. Oh, my games machine's ringing. Fetch. <laughs> it's unbelievable to think that someone can have that little control over their own body. Well, you say that made me look stupid, but I found 5p back there. Wow, 5 whole p. Totally worth it. Well, we hope you've enjoyed looking back at some of our best bits. That's all from the DNN Top 10 and N. We'll see you again and N. Again. Okay. We'll see you again and N. No, I meant again. Was fine the first time. Oh, this could take a while. Until next time, say goodbye, Bob. Goodbye, Bob. <laughs>